Oh god. Where are we? Yep. Oh fuck. In September 2015, a group of furries came together with a brilliant idea. Rainforest. A convention for <laughs> and by furries. This is their story. And I'm just bringing in all the dirty laundry here, so you guys are lucky, and I'm probably going to ask you to not post that video, mister. Rainforest is the reverse of Dashcon. Where Dashcon was a disaster caused by its organizers, Rainforest was a disaster caused by its attendees. I am absolutely sure there is no truth to the rumor that Rainforest is under an evil curse. I am... And with that, it is my pleasure to officially declare Rainforest 2015 open! <laughs> I always wonder where this free thing comes from. You know, in psychology, you can often certain things, certain fetishes, whatever. Um, you can explain what it comes from. What does that come from? I mean, furryism is obviously some kind of. There's something sexual about it. Disney animated. Um, lack of attention. Be nice, guys. I don't want to ban people. Be nice. Twitch and shit, you know. Space Jam. Lion King? No, I'm, psychologically, where does it come from? It all started it must with be a some kind of fetish or sexual stuff, in my opinion. Okay. But as the night went on, some started to... I just told you, it's fucking sexual! I fucking told you, man! I told you this, this shit is fucking sexual. They're going to the hotel afterwards and they're fucking... You know these butt plugs that have fucking foxtails and shit, man? I swear to God, that's some sexual trash. shit. Yeah, you don't want to know what this... Compton? A few hours later, shit. the destruction had begun. Somebody had deliberately loosened the bolt on one of these toilets. Why? So that when the next person flushed, water flooded everywhere. <laughs> two and a half inches deep. An emergency plumber was quickly on the scene, <gasps> but the damage was already done. Water had leaked through the floor and onto the basement servers below. Meanwhile, staff and security are threatening to throw out some of the guests. They had disabled the fire alarm so they could hotbox their room. Oh my. Obviously, there are reasons not to do that. Down at the hot tub, someone took all of these towels and threw them into the spa. But not <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with these? Before rolling up towels and stuffing them directly into the pump, causing thousands of dollars in damage. I have a weird feeling that there wasn't a lot of boomers involved in these acts, man. Because back in the day, they got a fucking... They were raised by their parents, man. Like, decent human beings, man. But all these young kids nowadays, man. They, they are raised by pussies, bro. They don't have any consequences anymore. They just fucking do whatever the fuck they want. And everybody just... Oh, yeah, good job, man. Good job, yeah. Fucking hero. Jesus And they Christ. stepped it up a notch from Dashcon. From going number one in the ball pit to going number two in the swimming pool. Oh, for fuck's sake. Back at the bathroom, there were rumors that someone had drilled a glory hole into one of the stalls, although this wasn't confirmed. But what was confirmed was a haul of over 2,000 nitrous oxide canisters just laying around in rooms and hallways. But that was just the start of the drug. Well, what is that? What, what, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that stuff? Gets you high. Lach gas. Ah, laughing gas, laughing gas. Problem. First, a couple of guys overindulge in mushrooms and need an ambulance. Then a staff member gets arrested for sexual assault. <laughs> then someone else is arrested for regular assault. A few others drank too much and needed a second ambulance. And on the other side of the car park, two more people are being arrested. One for drug possession and the other for dealing. Drugs was the major problem. Meanwhile, you have these guys roaming the halls. They call it crinkling, after the noise it makes when they walk around. And yes, 
some of these diapers are full. F the fuck off, The man. other guests weren't. Jesus Christ, man. At what point? I know we live in this woke, liberal, left-wing world now, and Twitch tells you, oh, we have to accept all people. Don't have to fucking accept this bullshit, man. What the fuck? When you accept everything nowadays and everything is okay, then this fucking bullshit comes around, man. Too pleased. You fucking kidding Later me, Later on, man? they're just throwing food and diapers in the gardens and stairwells. They were behaving like... Yeah, animals? Fucking animals, man. One thing that's important is when you ask that you guys all be really good back to the hotel. Do you know the elevator buttons? You really don't have to use your foot to push them off. A few hours later. Put your pants on and stop breaking shit! But that wasn't the end of it. Uh, there was an incident where... Yeah, it's uh, children. It's children, yeah. ...being found on people's cars. The hotel was left in ruins. Thank you, uh, Roblox. Four to six weeks later. The Hilton submitted a letter listing all of the reasons Rainforest would not be allowed at their venue from now on. The hotel damage was more than all of the other cons combined that year. But it wasn't just the damages. Rainforest was insured and had over 150 grand in the bank to pay for it all. Dude, these, these guys are loaded? Dude, there is, I'm telling you, Chad, there is like this subculture. This whole furry thing is just a facade, man. It's it's just a facade. Behind there is sexual shit going on. Drugs. Fucking degenerate, weird, crazy stuff. There is shit going on behind the scenes, man. Rainforest was just so you, toxic that they said, no, thank you. Take your money elsewhere. But that left them with a rather large problem because big hotel chains talk. Hilton talks to Sheraton, talks to Marriott, talks to Holiday Inn, talks to Hyatt, talks to Best Western, but there's more. Someone was sending detailed letters to nearby venues, warning them why they shouldn't host the next rainforest. Soon, there isn't one hotel in Seattle that has a convention center willing to host them. No other hotel this side of the state wanted to take us from Seattle to Bellingham. What's interesting is that the organizers knew who was sending the letters. These are the things that were talked about in that letter, and you're pretty much the only person who could have known that. Uh, yeah, I know, in my heart of hearts, I know who it is. It means more of an opportunity around, and it pisses me off. In case you missed that, what he's saying is, whoever sent the letters was the same person who was putting diapers on these cars. Running low on options, they started to look further outside of the city. They managed to find a venue in Spokane that was willing to give them a shot. But by February, none of that mattered. The diaper-wearing saboteur had sent out another letter, and Spokane backed out. So Rainforest 2016 was cancelled. And that's the story of Rainforest. So far. Unlike Dashcon, Rainforest is coming back, and Rainforest 2017 promises to be bigger Let's and fucking better go. than Let's ever. Let's go! Oh, RF 2017, they're bringing it back! They're bringing it back! Yes! Oh, so many memories! So many memories! Degenerate motherfuckers, I swear Never mind, down, as I was editing this, uh, this happened. So it's cancelled forever. Bye! Jesus Christ.